Now, one of the areas where I think MRI can be really helpful in this day and age where we're worried about radiation doses and we're increasingly scanning young patients is in the evaluation of Crohn's disease. These patients are young, they're often diagnosed at early ages, and if you just rely on CT, the radiation exposure over the course of a lifetime can be incredible, and certainly something we wouldn't want for any of our own kids. Here's an example where MR enterography can be exquisitely helpful in terms of delineating areas of involvement and in terms of differentiating areas of active disease from areas of chronic fibrotic stricturing. In this case, we can all see that the terminal ileum is clearly abnormally thickened, it's relatively low signal on the T2-weighted images or the haste images, and it's showing market thickening and hyper-enhancement on the, uh, the post-gadolinium images. Now, when you're dealing with the MR enterography, one of the advantages over CT is that it can really delineate active inflammation from a chronic fibrotic stricture. Now, in this case, notice that on the T2-weighted images, there's really not much in the way of active wall edema. Just as importantly, there's very little surrounding you know, adjacent fat stranding, inflammation, or free fluid. We're just seeing this area of thickening and hyperenhancement. So this is probably more of a chronic fibrotic stricture rather than representing active inflammation.